So if you want to do a stock count, which means you want to count the whole stock or uh, parts of your stock, you go to stock taking in your desktop app. And uh, here you'll see the history of all your uh, stock takings that you've done. So to start a new one, you push new stock taking header. You select what user is responsible for this specific uh, count. You select what date it's going to be done at. You give it a description. So you can call it October stock count or November stock count or yearly stock count for what year and so on. So just give it a description that uh, describes what you're doing for this stock count. And you select what warehouse you're counting in. If you need to, uh, to scan locations, you push the checkbox here. If you don't want to scan the locations, you don't check the checkbox. And you can do a full stock count, which means that you count your entire stock. And it's a blind stock count, which, which means that we don't show the actual or the, the, the quantity from the stock level in the mobile app. So you just count everything and then in the back end or in the desktop version you'll check how much is in stock compared to what you counted. And there's also a selective stock count where you select which items you're gonna count. So in this case we're gonna check how the full stock count works. So I've already created a couple of headers here. So we're going to use this one that I've already scanned a few items into. So when you click on this, you see the products I've scanned here. And if you want to start scanning in the mobile device, you go to the inventory function and you cl click on full stock count. And then you have a stock count ID number 130 here, which is October full stock count. So I'll select that one. And here you can enter a note. So that can be that you're counting, for example, aisle one, aisle two, or whatever you need, but you don't have to enter anything here. So you can just push next. And uh, then you scan the product and enter a quantity. And when you push the blue button there, it's gonna be saved to your stock count. So if we go back to the back end here, uh, so you'll see all the rows of what you scanned. So if you find the, the same item in multiple locations, you don't have to have a shelf or location on it. Uh, you can sum up everything that you count. So you'll see each individual scanned line here in the first view. And if you click on summary here, you'll see the uh, the total for each uh, each item and the location. So this one is available in two locations, K12 and a blank shelf. So you see the, the difference between your actual count and what the stock uh, levels say. So the difference between these you'll see in the diff column here. And you can export this list or you can go back and export the, the full list here of each row if you want to input that to an external system or uh, just look at it through the Excel sheet. Uh, but when, when you think everything looks good, you go to the summary, then you go to next. And when you push finish here, that's when you'll adjust the stock levels to be what it says here. So it will overwrite the existing stock levels, remove everything that wasn't found, and this will be your true stock after this. And uh, if you want to see the history, like I said, of uh, what's been done, you can always go back and see what's has been counted in these different headers. So as time goes by, you'll have a couple of uh, these 
uh, stock taking headers and you just click on the one you want to look at and compare to uh, new results.